Yo, what's up, everybody? Your boy MC. I'm back. Mambo Niaje, Mambo VP. I hope you all are doing great and doing fine. I'm coming back, your boy, to do another reaction all the way from the new Africa channel i think this is my new favorite channel because there's a lot of information about africa so if you want to know more about africa please finish, visit this uh, youtube channel and show some love because they're doing really pretty good uh, content today i'm coming back to do reaction on how the less salam is growing rapidly into a mega city in africa all right this video was released uh, december 8th 2020 uh, last year uh kind of like one month ago and you know tanzania is my country the less Salaam. i've been living there for a while now and i would just love to see uh what he's talking about all right let's go ahead jump right into it all right the less Salaam, guys the old capital city of tanzania uh but as well as the financial city right now it's a place where everything go down right there all right so i'm just gonna go right away to the reaction it's amazing i'm really excited to see my country all right that's it Africa is on the rise. That's true. Gross domestic product of many countries are experiencing growth, and inflation is dropping. That's true. The continent is attracting many investors, and in 2019, direct foreign investment grew mm. to over $30 billion, dollars, and exports to over $650 billion. Dollars. Africa is urbanizing at a very fast rate. The world's 15 fastest growing cities based on UN population estimates are all in ah. Africa. The world population is expected to grow to 8.6 billion in 2030, and African metro areas are leading this growth. Africa today is the world's least urbanized continent, with 43% of its population living in urban areas. But high birth rates and rising internal migration yeah. mean African cities are Life entering an era of unprecedented wow. growth. The continent's population is growing so quickly because of its increasingly large young inhabitant, the highest of any continent. According to the United Nations, over 75% of Africa's population are younger than 35 wow. years. Among the fastest growing cities are three cities located in Tanzania, wow. of which Dar es Salaam is expected to see highest population city increase located in Tanzania. and become a mega city by 2035. Uh... With a population of more than 6 million, Dar es Salaam is currently Africa's sixth largest city. It is also the third Africa fastest sixth, growing city wow. in Africa, after Bamako and Lagos, and the ninth fastest growing in the Nine world. Nine fastest growing in the world. Wow. Dar es Salaam, with its current population of 6 million on the Indian Ocean, is expected to have 10 million within a decade, and according to one speculative scenario, the city could have more than 70 million people by 2100, Dang. making it the third largest city in the world, after Lagos and Kinshasa. Once Tanzania's capital, Dar es Salaam is mm -hmm. still the commercial hub and the seat of some government agencies. The city is the most significant transport and trade center of Tanzania. It is located on the natural port of the Indian Ocean, which is the reason it represents Tanzania's main port. Various goods from the neighboring countries of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, mm. Zambia, and Malawi are exported through here. Wow! The center! The city began as a fishing village in the mid-19th century and gradually became an established port and trading center. The site of Dar es Salaam was originally a small village named Mzizima in Swahili for healthy town, dating back to 1857. Dar es Salaam, an Arabic name meaning mm -hmm. haven of peace, haven of was peace. formally founded by the Majid bin Sayyid, the Sultan of Zanzibar, in 1866. The city fell into decline after the death of the Sultan in 1870, but was revived in 1887, when the German East Africa Company established a station there. The wow. town's growth was facilitated by its role as the administrative and commercial center of German East Africa, an industrial expansion, resulting from the construction of the Central Railway Line in the early 1900s. British forces took control of Dar es Salaam and German East Africa during World War I. They renamed the colony Tanganyika, but retained Dar es Salaam as the capital. The British also legalized the informal residential segregation of the city that began under the Germans. There was a European section, Oyster Bay, and two African sections, Karayaku and Alala. Eventually a fourth section was developed for Asians. Asians? Wow! Dang! Dar es Salaam grew rapidly after World War II and soon became the center of anti-colonial agitation led by the Tanganyika African National Union founded in the city. When Tanganyika became independent in 1961, 
Dar es Salaam became its first capital, a position it continued to have when Tanganyika and Zanzibar merged Zanzibar. in 1964 Zanzibar. to become Tanzania. <laughs> Although the interior city of Dodoma was announced as the new capital of Tanzania That's in 1973, right. Dar es Salaam continues to be the location of most government offices. Not now anymore. The city is currently divided into five administrative districts. All five are governed as municipal councils, and so are all of the city's suburbs or wards affiliated with them. Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most important city for both business and many government is activities. This place? The city contains high concentrations of trade and other services and manufacturing, compared to other parts of Tanzania, which has about 80% of its population in rural areas. Wow. Downtown yeah, includes Tanzania. small businesses, I've many of which here. are run by traders and proprietors whose families originated from the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent areas of the world, with which the settlements of the Tanzanian coast have had long-standing trading relations. The Dar es Salaam Central Business District is the largest in Tanzania and comprises the Kasutu, Kivukoni, Upanka, and Karayaku areas. The downtown Beautiful area is located right there, in guys. the Alala District. Kivukoni is home to the Tanzania Central Bank, the Bank of Tanzania, the Dar es Salaam BLT. Stock Exchange, and the city's important Magagoni Fish Market. Kasutu has businesses and offices and is the location of Dar es Salaam Central Railway Station, the PSPF Towers, and the TPA Tower. Until the late 1990s, Dar es Salaam was not put into the same category as Africa's leading cities like Cairo, Giza, Nairobi, Johannesburg, Lagos or Addis Ababa. The 2000s became the turning point when the city experienced one of Africa's fastest urbanization rates. Businesses were opened and wow. prospered, growth expanded in the construction it's sector like with place. new multi-story buildings, bridges and roads. The CBD skyline hosts tall buildings, among them the 35-floor PSPF Tower, finished in 2015, and the Tanzania Ports Authority Tower, the tallest building in Tanzania, completed in 2016. Mm -hmm. Been here. Dar es Salaam is currently Africa's sixth most populous Six. city. It's projected to grow from 6 million people today to 13.4 million by 2035, wow. crossing the megacity threshold of 10 million people sometime before 2030. The rapid urbanization of the city can be attributed to the high birth rates and rising internal migration. When properly planned, Dar es Salaam's urbanization holds a wealth of promise. Historically, the development of cities has been a key driver of economic development. The Industrial Revolution which led to the dramatic rise in global living standards over the past 200 years would never have been possible without cities. Public services like water, electricity, health, and education are all cheaper and easier to provide there. Urban Tanzanians, as in most African countries, fare better this in nearly all measures one. of human development than their rural counterparts. The rapid growth yes. of the city comes with several problems such as lack mm. of adequate housing and the need for good planning of Post the city. Up. Among Dar es Salaam's most ambitious projects to tackle the housing problem is the Deju Eco Village, a high-end 7,000-unit estate developed by the National Pension Fund that promised to redefine the city. Dar es Salaam's grandest plans may frequently face roadblocks, but the city has still made considerable progress. Over the last decade, towers of blue-tinged glass have transformed its downtown skyline. Excluding South Africa, the city is now home to four of the ten tallest buildings in sub-Saharan wow. Africa. Over time, investments driven by rising property values and the upgrading of some informal settlements have helped I'm gonna build my tower some there of Dar es Salaam tower. neighborhoods. <laughs> If all goes well, the 22nd century could belong to Africa, but the continent is in dire need of good governance and responsible urban investment. Good governance means that planning is done in a way which learns from the mistakes made in developed countries and does not repeat them. Dar es Salaam and all the fastest growing cities in Africa do not need to be built to rely upon cars when most people do not have cars. These emerging mega-cities need to be compact and prioritize sanitation, resource efficiency and health and safety. There's the need to utilize sustainable urban mobility and regenerative infrastructure, incorporating and not banning nature from cities, and the use of abundant renewable energy resources.
I'm gonna go to live there. <laughs> Yay! If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the new Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Well, oh, man, I just gotta say this that I. The new Africa channel, it's amazing, man, and it's just fun to see my own country right here. See, react, I mean, to react on my own country. Ah, uh, yeah, I know Magufuli is doing pretty well, and uh, hopefully Tanzania uh, is gonna even grow better. Right now, they're re redesigning Doma, capital city, and I know it's gonna be amazing, so I cannot wait to see that. Anyways, guys, I appreciate for stopping by. Leave your comment below and let me know what you think. Until next time, Swahili Nation, Swahili to the world. Don't forget to love one another, spread peace wherever you are. Bye.